some, I have to say this, some of you were young kids when I knew you. I won't tell you how old you are now, Bernadette. No, but in us. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll go on, we'll go on. But, <laughs> but we, but, and God has blessed the, the convention. But there's so much more to do, so much more. And it's, we just finished going to the prison this morning. And it just breaks my heart to see so many young men in there. So many young men. Uh, there's a new generation rising up that we must reach that um, may not feel comfortable going to church as we do church. We're never going to change our doctrine, but our methodology always has to adapt to reach the new generation. Uh, and that's what I want to challenge you is the process when I came here, I asked the Lord, who are, who are the people falling through the cracks that nobody wants in their church? Or do they want to go to, ch to their church? And of course it was, I found out it was a prison. So I went there. Uh, and uh, to the, those who are the least among the people here on the island, I went to them and got blessed. Now it's time for a new harvest. Who is not comfortable in the Baptist churches that we have started? <laughs> and who do we need to go out and reach today? Um, young men, uh, you know, most of you know the story that, that I walked with James Jarvis to the gallows many years ago. Now his son, Junior, and he was just a little boy. I used to pick him up and bring him to church. His uh, older sister, Cleo, was... I think you might remember Cleo. She was young. She was carrying Kelly's. I remember Cleo. She was the last one I baptized before I left the island, in fact. And I gave her James's Bible. But now Junior has become a believer. And he knows this younger generation, the hip hop, I mean, all these rock and roll guys, all these crazy music guys. We've got to reach them. Well, that's a harvest field that's ripe. The people who, and, and again, what has happened is Vincentian have gone to America. But they brought America back with them. They brought the, the drugs and the crime with them and the gangs with them. We've got to break the bondage of those that younger generation before it's too late. Amen. And that's why I'm challenging you. We need to look out into the harvest fields as we've never looked before. Not just at our little comfort zone, mm -hmm. but we've got to stretch out further to those who are not coming to us. We have to go to them. Uh, and so I want to challenge you as a convention. Many of you have worked diligently. You've worked hard over the years to make our churches what they are. You've been blessed by it. God has been faithful to you. Uh, the committees you have are very critical and important, but we've got to stretch those committees and say, what, what do we need? How can we go further? What can, what's the next step that God would have us to go to reach the next generation, to reach those who are hopeless and helpless without Jesus? So that's the challenge. We need to look out into the harvest field. Are we looking at the harvest with the eyes of Jesus? Or have we, kindly, I'm saying this kindly and lovingly, we have we fa fallen into the, ha the, um, the habit of looking at people like our government looks at them or like our culture looks at them? Are we looking at them with the eyes of Jesus?